Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you some cool things you can do with media queries which have nothing to do with size. So let's get into it. I am here with my mysterious hot pink square and if I turn this animation on you will see that it spins. However, not everyone likes spinning things on the screen, myself included. I get seasick just looking at the sea sometimes. So for people like me, what you can do is write a media query which turns off animations for people who have selected certain settings. And to do that, we do. At media prefers reduced motion. And then on my class of square, I can declare animation none. And now if I hop over to my settings, head to accessibility. If I tick the reduced motion setting, no more spinning. Great news. Actually, I might leave that on. The next one I want to show you allows you to change the color of an item depending on what color scheme a user has selected. And you can do that with at media prefers color scheme and then dark. And then once again in my square, declaration. I can change the background to a suitably dark colour. Might as well go for black. And now just to test this out, back over in settings, we can hit general and then the dark appearance. Woo! Black square. Interesting. But let's put back the hot pink for now. You can also change the appearance of an item depending on your viewport orientation. And to do that, we do media orientation landscape, or of course you can choose portrait. And then hitting up my square once again, and let's change the background to my second favorite color, which is orange red. And now to test that out, we change the orientation of the viewport. Yep. Orange red square has entered the building. Bear in mind that orientation is referring to the viewport and not the device. So now we have looked at those three, I will now show you how to add some logic so you can use them in combination with each other. So for example, if I wanted a media query which would target the item when the viewport is in landscape orientation and the user has selected dark color scheme, I can do that in two ways. And the first way is to nest the media queries. So that would be at media orientation landscape. And then opening the second one, prefers color scheme dark. If both of those are true, I would want square to be background and I will choose a nice dark orange color, which I found earlier, 661B00. And to test this out, I will go back to my settings and hit dark mode. Ooh, there we have our nice dark orange square. But there's another way of doing this. Yes, if I comment this out, I can use and inside my media query. And that looks like media orientation landscape and prefers color scheme dark. And in that case, once again, I would want square to have this nice dark orange. Let's give that a go. It has worked. But what about if I wanted this burnt orange color, if the viewport orientation was landscape or the user has selected dark color scheme? You might think it's just a case of doing the same thing, but with or. I can now reveal that it's not. Instead, you use a comma between the two declarations. And there we go. And just to prove to you that this has worked, I will hop on over to my settings, remove the dark mode, and you will see I still have my burnt orange square because the viewport orientation is landscape. If I move this to portrait, hot pink is back. And a quick look at Stack Overflow suggests that these two have roughly the same browser support. So I'm not sure if there's any difference between them. 
but you have two options available to you. Oh, and I would like to thank Dave Collison for bringing my attention to the Prefers Colour Scheme Media Query. Well, I hope this was useful. If you have any other cool media queries you like to use, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.